day ladies and gentlemen joy steven from the pollens studios and here is another case law for the student harold dawood versus canada case law is not meant for people interested to apply for permanent residence to canada but may be used by those who feel the system may not be fair or to gain an understanding of the recourse available in canada for a negative decision content for this video is sourced from information distributed by thompson Reuters and judgment for this case is attached in my blog reportersreport.com as a PDF document. This is an immigration case law and includes topics like refugee status requirements. Refugee claimants were Palestinians who resided in West Bank and who provided secured wireless internet for distribution from Israeli engineer. Claimants alleged that they had been shot at and they were targeted by militant Palestinian groups who distributed flyers around mosques accusing them, accused them of being Israeli spies. Claimants came to United States, then four months later crossed illegally into Canada where they claimed refugee protection. Board found inconsistencies and omissions in claimants' testimony and concluded claimants were not credible. Board was not satisfied with claimants' explanations as to why corroborating evidence was not produced. <coughs> Board also determined that claimants lacked subjective fear because they traveled to US for four months but did not make claim for protection there. Board denied claim, claimants appealed for judicial review, an application was dismissed. It was reasonable for board to draw negative credibility inference in light of lack of corroborating evidence and lack of reasonable and credible explanations for failure to produce that evidence. Board was within its right to conclude lack of corroborating documentary evidence on agent of, persecu of um, persecution undermined claimant's credibility. In light of negative credibility findings, board were was not unreasonable to find claimants lacked subjective fear. Claimants failed to establish personalized risk because their evidence with respect to shooting attempt and contents of flyer was not acceptable. Board did not commit re reviewable error by not concluding separate S97 of Immigration and Refugee Protection Act of Canada analysis. Dawood versus Canada interesting case, September the 24th, 2015, from the Federal Court. Thank you.